NBA is last week has turned into a Eastern Conference orange race between the Celtics and Bucks. These are two teams that have met the playoffs. They are clearly rivalry, uh, clearly one of the best rivalries in the league. They had that epic, epic seven game series in 2022 when Giannis was just off the charts, but it wasn't enough. Damian Lillard goes to Miami. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Miami. I did, I really didn't mean to say that. I did. That was a slip. Or maybe it wasn't. Damian Lillard ends up with Milwaukee, and that, that leads to Drew Holiday going from Milwaukee to Portland to Boston. Um, listen, you look at the top six players on each team, these are the probably the two best top sixes, maybe probably in the NBA right now. I would say Boston first, Milwaukee second, Denver is a Denver's right there as well. This is going this is what you love about basketball. What you love about the NBA. Get Damian Lillard, who is a generational shooter and one and a great, great scorer on a team and immediately when they when this trade was made, I'm like, well, Milwaukee is the team to beat. Five knows over Denver. They're, it's close. They're the team to beat. Boston gets Drew Holiday. Scratch that. Boston is now the team to beat. Boston's top six. What like you got Tatum, Brown, Holiday, Rick White, Porzingis, and, and Al Horford. Now, they're not as deep as they once was, but you don't have to be that deep. You're only playing seven to eight players. You're only playing seven really in the playoffs when when it's Monday, when it's not not uh, not crunching time. But you only it got it got coaches only don't trust that many players in the playoffs, especially deeper into the playoffs, conference finals, finals, and 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 what have you. Austin's defense is going to be legitimately just terrifying. Terrifying. I have a backcourt of Derek White and Drew Holiday. That those guys, I mean, those guys are, are, are like ball hogs. Are like ball hawks. Like you, you have their teams will have trouble crossing half court against that some of that defensive pressure they have. Their defense is going there. Last year, the defense took a step back. This year, they will be again a top defensive team without question. Milwaukee, again, obviously Milwaukee is going to skyrocket. The Giannis, Damian Lillard, pick and roll will be lethal. Gian, Giannis will have driving lanes that he hasn't seen probably in eons with the shooting and with the attention that you have to give to Dame Lillard. Now, the defense is going to take a, step, a small step back, but what Dame Lillard will make him, Dame Lillard will more than make up for that offensively. He will. He, he is, again, this guy is a great, great offensive player. It's coming off one of his best years of his career, so there's still some gas in the tank without question. I think the thing that I like about what's happening is the amount of pressure that is on both teams. It is they these, these two teams probably have the most pressure of any teams in the league right now. Seriously, like they you're talking about in, in Milwaukee has a championship, they, but they are trying to keep you honest. Austin hasn't won a championship since 2008. And next year, you're going to have to pay Jason Tatum a super max deal. He'll be all NBA this year. And you're going to have to pay him a super max deal. They they have about a one, maybe two year window before they have to make some extremely tough decisions about to keep who not to keep outside of Brown and Tatum. It's like they're going to, these two teams are have to forget about, there's, there's no such thing as a three to five year plan in the NBA. He has turned into the NFL. It is a win now. It is, it is almost as win now as, as, as the NFL is, to be honest with you.